One, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, hello, one, two, one, two, can you hear me? One, two, three, one, two, three. Yes, teacher. <laughs> How are you? Um, Johnny, can you hear me well? Yeah. Se escucha feo, se escucha mejor. Listen better. You listen better. You hear better. Okay. Good. Good. So, how are you? Fine. Good. How was your weekend? Uh, so heavy <laughs> ways. Lazy. Yeah, because it's the the, um, the end of the years and many things that I have to do. For example, the stop inventory. Inventory stock, okay. Calculate some aguinaldos. <laughs> Pay many things. I bet that's difficult. How many are we? We are six already. Just waiting for the rest. Okay, hello, Ada. How are you tonight? Hello, good evening, teacher. Evening. How was your weekend? Oh, uh, very tired. A work, work, a lot of work, teacher. And yes, in, in day, igual. Same thing? Okay. Yeah, it's the end of the year, guys, and we all have a lot of work to do. You feel more tired. That's normal. We're almost there. This is our last week, actually, and we're done with the module on Friday. Then you're going on vacations. Christmas is coming some time for the family i went to i went to el plan de la laguna um yesterday sunday yeah yesterday it was really nice have you ever been to el plan de la laguna i go almost every weekend what really to buy plants to buy plants. Flowers <laughs> and plants. Mm -hmm. Almost I, every weekend. I took some good pictures of turtles and toy toys. Well, tortoise. Mm -hmm. Many tortoises. They're like domesticated, you know. So like pets, you know, the fish, the fish as well are like very friendly. I grab a total. <laughs> grabbed one and my wife was like leave that thing you know they're gonna call you off you know or something and I was like nah I wanted to grab it I don't like turtles what they're funny 
You're so ugly. No. <laughs> oh, I saw some nice birds. What about the koi fish? <clears throat> I guess you have seen the koi fish. The ones in there too? Yeah, there's a lot of koi fish. Yeah. And, yeah. Big ones. Big ones, yes. Mm -hmm. Multiple colors. Another place that is very nice, Heidi, is um, Don Li, Chinese food. Mm -hmm. In Boulevard del Hipódromo. Uh -huh. That's ah, very nice. Mm, yeah, they have fish. Fishes. Yeah, remember, irregular plurals, fish, fish. <laughs> yeah, you say fishes when there's a lot of different species, a lot of different species in the ocean. Okie dokie. Okay, let's do it. Uh, we're 13 already. Great. Uh, Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Yep. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present teacher. Of course. Thank you. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Good evening. That's very good. Thank you. Good evening. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Great. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. With a better internet connection, I guess? Uh, yes, it's better, but I don't know. Uh, I, uh, I just arrived. Uh, I got home. I right. got, got home. Got just home. Now. I just got home. Good. Well, sounds better. Heidi Eugenia Sanguero de Rivas. Present. Welcome. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Irene, not yet. Okay, Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chavez. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernandez. Here yet. Jose Alberto Salas Benitez. Present teacher. Okay, good. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Excellent. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Yes. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante, Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana, Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Good evening. Good evening. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Good. Zuleima Ivón Moreno de Hernández. Not yet. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Oh, where are you, man? I'm here. <laughs> oh, I see you. Thank you. Hey, your camera is back. Welcome back. Yo soy en Imelda Rivas Abarca. Scratching, scratching, scratching. Okay. Welcome, Josie. Pressing. Sorry, pressing. How was the call center today? Mm, today is my day off. Oh, so it was good. Yeah, it was good. Monday, <laughs> Sunday, and Monday. Oh my God, look at you, Sunday and Monday. Some people, right? White collar. That's good. You know? <laughs> yes. Since I've been, I've been, uh, since I've been working there, I had the same day. Awesome. Yeah, me too. I have had the same schedule and day off on Sunday. That's really good. There's a lot of OT okay. still, a lot of calls, you know, uh, but I'm chilling yeah. right now. Yeah. The okay. only thing that I miss working at the site is that I, when I was in uh, December the 25th and January the 1st, I never worked those days. Like now I work because I am from home. Like when I was on the site, I, I didn't work any day. <laughs> any, any holiday? Any holiday, not 25 really? and not the January the first. Yes. It's really I'm I got working. Lua. Oh, really? Yes. They, they used to give you that. That's awesome. Leave of absence. Yes. Leave of absence. And yeah, today is, well, 24th is Friday and Saturday is the 25th. And the same with the 31st and the first. I'm going to work both days. Anyways, from 5 a.m. to 12.30. Oh, my God. Okay, why not? <laughs> um, anyways. 
Okay, overnighted, working. Anyways, that's the way it is. And this we got, we got a job. So, what's in it today? What's in it today? Let's talk about some uh, funny stuff. Um, today's topic is about food, let's say. Let's say, um, you know, actually, today at lunch, I came home at about 1.30 and my family, my kids were waiting for me to have lunch. And Xavier, uh, my eight-year-old, my no, nine-year-old, my nine-year-old was asking me, Dad, what is the food that expires the soonest? I was like, I don't know, I, I guess, I don't know, unless it's like cream or something. Okay, and what is the food that expires the latest? I was like, okay, canned food. I, I knew, right, canned food. So that's the, that's the food with the longest expiration period, any canned food, right? And what is the food that lasts forever? And I was like, oh my God, this is not gonna stop, right? <laughs> the food that never expires I was like I heard about this military food I don't know if you have heard about military food that is really well sealed is so sealed that it will never expire and I thought about that and I told him right there are some military food you know that, that never expires and actually there's some videos on, on YouTube of this guy opening food from the Second World War, you know, that's amazing. I mean, and, and he eats he eats the military food that he finds from the Second World War. I'm like, what? It's still good, right? Okay. So, have you ever had a bad experience eating something that is out of outdated? Something that is outdated. Now, keep in mind that this question is for you to think of the vocabulary that you can use when talking about food being expired or in a different um, stage, you know, like what happens to food that it gets expired? You can get, doesn't you can get sick. It doesn't smell good. Okay, so it becomes smelly. Okay, what else? <laughs> What? Are you eating, Didi? I'm sorry. So no, 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 no. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, Alexander. Um, you can get sick if you eat expired food. You may get sick. Yeah, you can get sick. Okay, William, what's going on? The flavor. The flavor is that's the point. What's the flavor like? Uh. I don't know how to say, but sour, mm. moldy. Yeah. How do you say agrio in English? Agrio, uh, sour, sour, sour. Mm. Yeah, sour. 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 That's that's amargo. Uh, like the sun, uh, bitter sweet. There you go, bitter sweet <laughs> symphony. You got it. Yeah. Okay, bittersweet. Okay. So. Jenny, what are you listening to? Okay, let's <laughs> start talking about this topic. Get some vocabulary. Talk about food. What happens if you eat something that is corroded, something that is rooted? And did you know that there's a culture in the world that loves eating rotten eggs? Rotten eggs, black eggs. Yeah, they do. They eat black eggs. So think about it, okay? Have a conversation about that topic. It sounds like gross, disgusting, but we have to talk about perishable items in this class. That's our topic today and how we handle the, those situations. Okay, it's just a regular conversation. Let's go.
Oh, yes. Ajun, how are you? I am pretty well. Okay, perfect. Yes, thank you. Okay, the teacher saying the question is already. Let me just compare. About the restaurant, about the 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 meat. Yes. Okay? The meat. Yes. Have, you ever, have you ever eaten? I, sorry, yeah. continue, Alexander, continue. Um, no, actually, in this context, in this current pan pandemic, it's difficult because when you lose your your sense, like uh, smell, taste, you cannot identify this kind of food and you can get sick because you don't feel or you don't send anything. Okay, uh, for me, I can speak, guys, for me, I like the meat, I like meat. I like meat restaurants, the meat goes well. I, I hardly to go out the restaurant, I prefer to go to meat at home. I prefer that home, that food at home because I like to cook. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yes, I prefer a cook in the house. But I visit the restaurant, but I prefer to cook in the house. And I prefer the meat. In my case, maybe food that I know not, uh, but I have water and it's very ugly, the water. It never, I, well, I don't know, but water, yes, in my work, <laughs> the bottle, the water bottle, uh, experience is not so good. It's priority. I okay. have... Don't the, understand the, the second. The, the water is pure. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, the water. What? What? Yes, the water is pure. Really? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, the water bottle. Yes. Oh, that's a good one. Yes. How oh, was the taste? Is, um, I don't know if you say ligoso. It has, um, but the first is the color. Change the color of the water. No. Ch the color, no. But the, the flavor, yes. Ah, in, yeah. In, um, mm. Semi-solid. Missy, maybe, not, I don't know if it's correct. Missy, eh? it's the, como ligosa, el agua. Mm, yeah. Mm. What, what, what kind of mark is what? The mark? Uh, for example, uh, ay, salva, salva vida, maybe is life saver. Huh? What's wrong with life saver, salva vidas? Agua salva vidas. Oh, what, you were a life saver? <laughs> or the water, the water, life saver. The, the brand. <laughs> it's a brand? The okay. brand. Yeah. Okay. I Does it expire? Does it expire? Yes, teacher, the water expire in the bottle. What about honey? I don't know what time. Maybe one year. For honey? Honey? Honey. Yeah, like honey. Yeah, honey. Yeah, honey. Yeah, yeah. honey. Does it expire? No. Mm. The, the natural honey, no? And how, very good. Natural honey doesn't expire. Uh -huh. Keep going. A teacher, the honey may be expired? Not the natural honey. Ah, no, I don't natural honey doesn't expire. That's right. Okay. Good, good, good. Keep going. Oh, oh, bro. And then I watch a 
that the news that all all the people who was who were eating in the pupuseria were at the hospital because the pupusas was was envenenadas poisoned okay yes it's a true story here in El Salvador in, yes yes the name of the pupuseria <laughs> I, I I forget it, but I I never been in this pulseria. And what about you, William? I just ate um, uh, avocado sauce just uh, on my dinner. <laughs> and uh, the product got expired. But it was delicious. <laughs> yeah. The spider dead was uh, November 84. And yes, I ate with tacos. Hey, I'm in, I am well. 84. Did you say 84? Uh, November 20, 24. 24. Mm -hmm. 24. So this year? Yeah. Um, and I am just ate this in this day. Okay. But I have eaten food. I have eaten food that I expired one year ago, one day ago, and I have eaten, for example, bread or um, yogurt that. For example, today I'm eating an expired yesterday. I I have eaten and I never feel anything. You're never getting sick. Yes. Yeah. I ate a lot of product that got expired. Maybe one one day is not a problem. I think, yes. Mm -hmm. I think it's not a problem, yeah. Mm -hmm. But one day with meat? <laughs> yeah, it it oh. it. <laughs> because then milk, uh, the flavor? No, no with meat. Meat. Oh, with meat. Car carne. Mm -hmm. Ah, meat. meat. Um, meat. No, yeah, we have to be careful. Because sometimes my mom, my mom, does uh, <laughs> spare with one day, and and I still here. <laughs> <laughs> you are a survivor. Yes, in all my family. <laughs> I think the whole people do this. Yeah. We're talking about taxes, teacher. About taxes. <laughs> about taxes. And I, I didn't get that. I'm sorry. I stand these new headphones. What are you talking about? We talked about about taxes. Taxes. The declaration. The uh, mm -hmm. I'm doing the taxes. Why? <laughs> okay. That's insane. Yeah, you're almost done with taxes, right? Customers across the nation can enjoy a free small. We're almost done with what? Come again. We're 
done with what you said? You're almost you done. You are almost done with your taxes. Just two more months and that's it. Right now you're closing November, right? Are you? Yeah, yeah but, but we're talking about our discounts. Oh, discounts. Okay. What's the everything that you need to pay at the end of the year? Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, the mm -hmm. mm, calculation of taxes. Because mm -hmm. of all the items that you remove from the final sheet, from the final balance, right? Mm. Oh, good. There's a lot to say about it. None of you work with perishables, right? I don't think nobody here does. Oh, not even producing. Many of you, okay, okay. So I guess you already talked about the main topic. You got some vocabulary. Let's see. Okay, I think we're almost back, all of us. So tell me, put on your chat, what new words did you find or discover that you didn't know how to say? Go on your Zoom chat, let me know. Seem poisoned to get poisoned, canned, canned. That's a difficult one. Canned food. Yes, it's very difficult because you can uh, get confused with can, can't. Yeah, that, that is with D at the end. Yeah, this it's, one is it, canned, canned. Yeah, canned food. It's depending on the context. Yeah, you have to look at the context, of course. That's the point, guys. At this point, I mean, the context is everything. You must understand it. Okay, poison, sour, sour, sour. Okay, sweet, the opposite. Uh-huh. Come on, what other words do you know? Teacher, mm -hmm. salado is salty. Salty, very good. Put it in the chat. Salty, salty, salty. I don't know how to spell it. Just the way it sounds. S A L T. I'm sorry. S A L T Y. Bitter, bitter. Okay, salty. Vinegar, vinegar. Okay, I told you before, moldy, moldy, you remember what is moldy? That happens with the cheese. That happens with the pie too. Okay. You know about crusty? Crusty. 
What about watering? Watering. Sausages. Sausages. Yeah. Uh, sausages. Remember, how you say chorizo, salchicha, longaniza, all of that? Sausage. Sausage. Little sausages. There's no independent word for salchicha, sausage, chorizo is another thing. No. Some gringos, some Americans say chorizo. You know. <laughs> But in general, they refer to those things like sausage. Sausage. Um, what did I say? Watery. You know what is watery? No. Relate. Relate. Yeah. What? There's a kind of cheese that we eat, which is always watery. The fresh cheese. I don't know how to say that in English. Fresh cheese. Okay, Monterey, Monterey Jack. Okay, what else? Salty. Toasted, toasted, okay, toasted. Good, similar to crusty. So how do you say aguado? How do you say duro, tieso? Watery. Watery. Watery is a well. Okay. Hmm. What about bland? Rocky. Rocky is. is... <laughs> no. No, it's. <laughs> soft. No, soft. 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 No, you know, talking about food is like bland food, um, bland. hardened, mm, tender. Tender. Mm, yeah. Yeah. How do you say podrido? Moldy, teacher. Moldy? Is that podrido? No. Uh, Rotten. Rotten. Type Rotten. it. Type it. Rotten. 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 <laughs> Pudrit. That's not very used. It's more like rotten, rotten, rotten tomatoes. Rotten, yes, rotten. How do you say asqueroso? It's a very common word when you talk about chucky. 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 Yeah. Type yeah. It. Disgusting. How do you Disgusting. write? Be careful with this word. How do you write gross? What's the right spelling for gross? I think it's Spanish. Careful, there's a difference between gross amount, the gross amount in accounting, and a gross food, you know, gross kind of food. That's different. But the spelling is similar. Okay, nobody. How do you spell gross? I thought you were talking about the topic. How did we say? Would you say tuido? Not for a person, but for, you know, chips or something. Cripple. 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 Type it. Come on. Cripple. Cripple. Type it. Type it. I don't, I cannot understand you. Cripple. Cripple. I just typed that, that word. Really? Lame. Cripple. Cripple. Cripple, okay. One second. My God. That is the word that you say, gross. 
I guess. Gross. Yes, gross. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Crypto. Mm. Mm. That's your gross income. I'm talking about gross. And yeah, it's the same. Is it the yeah. same writing? The same spelling? Mm. Yeah, it's the same spelling. Gross. Gross. But gross. Bruised. Gross. What is bruised? Is that like purple food? Oh, that's for fruit. William, yes, like a, a mango. Yeah. Right, a bruised mango. Okay, guys, there's a lot of vocabulary regarding this topic, okay? Regarding food condition. Thank you. Okay. Let's move it. Let's keep going. Just a minute. Yeah, that's too much. Okay, so uh, we've been talking about the chain of distribution, distribution channels, how we work on the warehouses. Then we are talking on unit four about inventory. Tonight we have to continue with that topic and we're gonna start on page 33 with an opening question as usual. So we can warm up the topic. Somebody's typing on the chat. Oh. What else? Fermented. Good. That's another one. Fermented. So, do you think some beverages are good fermented? I remember when I was a kid at, uh, at the Parque El Redondel, Wendy, there used, there used to be a guy, Don Chepe. Don Chepe used to sell, he used to sell tamarindo. This kind of tamarindo was really fermented and it was like red, you know. And he used to have a, a, a this trolley, you know, with glass bottles. Yeah. yeah? Have you seen him? He's in front of uh, Insa, maybe. Uh huh. In front of Insa, too. He used to be there, too, Don Chepe. Mm -hmm. Is he alive still? I don't know. The, next to the pandemic. I don't, don't after. remember after, after pandemic. I don't remember uh, see, seeing seeing him. Her. Mm -hmm. him. Really? Yeah. Man, he was a nice guy, very nice old man. But my the thing is that my husband remember. Uh, uh, don't uh, yes, because my husband study study in in uh, Insa? In Insa, yes. Really? Woo. <laughs> Okay, we may have met each other, I guess. Yeah, but the thing is that the flavor of oh, that tamarindo, the flavor was so delicious after playing basketball for two or three hours under the sun. I remember we used to go like, hey, who has a quarter? It's, it's, the, it's the middle of the tamarindo and chicha. It's the middle. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah. He had a kia. He used to ferment the, the, the beverage, you know, and that's another word. You don't say, how do you say bebida in English? You say beverage. 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 Yeah, be be beverage. Okay. So does, let's see, explain the relevance of an effective inventory management. Why is it relevant to have an effective inventory management? Other than the product that you're storing, what are the considerations for having an effective inventory management? 
why do you have to have an, an effective inventory management? Somebody? We said that it's the heart of your company, right? It's very important, but what makes it so important? I mean, we already talked about this topic. Come on. In order to be productive and continue with your flow to the change. The flow. The flow to the change <laughs> of the, yeah. To the chain, continue with the chain. Yeah, the change. To keep change. rolling, 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 rolling. Exactly. <laughs> keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Yeah, makes sense. And Maybe uh, if you have uh, an effective inventory management, uh, you you can take decisions about maybe promotions. Uh, if uh, a product is going to expire in the next week, for example, you mm. can uh, put a promotion that for in that product's path because it's better uh, sell that product cheaper than that uh, you lost that money. You got it. So, That's true. That's very important. So you can recover your cost at least. Yes, it, it may be true. Uh, you have to 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 do an, an effective management because uh, the inventor, the price, the, uh, the, the price, the unit price on, of a product uh, changes every uh, when you when you you rotate the inventory, uh, the unit price of the product maybe can change in the next load. For example, you have to to get the control. Hmm. That's interesting. So the price or the cost, I will say, of each batch of product may vary. The price of each batch may vary depending on the circumstances of the market, how yes. well you, oh, you, you know, you got a point there. Raw material before the pandemic was cheaper, right? Yes, and... Uh, uh... If you, for example, I, I go to I go to the supermarket every every Sunday and uh, I I buy the the same products. Uh, for example, I, I uh, uh, my wife uh, likes uh, some cookies that uh, the last week uh, was in one point twenty twenty one dollars, but the next week is ten centavo, como se dice. 10 cents? 10 cents. Uh, Cheaper uh, or more expensive? No, that's expensive. More, more expensive. expensive than last week. So uh, with a week of the difference, Within, the, 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 the price changes. Within a week, the price rised. Right? Rose. Yeah, the price rose within a week. What affect the price? Because it's a maybe it's a new law with different price, unit price, mm, a different unitary unitary price. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Uh, but well, yeah, would you just said something very important? Uh, the cost of the product may vary on each batch, so you may get more money out of a previous batch than the newer batch. I wonder if if that's true, you know, I hope you're, you're getting it. I mean, you produced 1000 units of this product last month and this month, the price for, or the cost for the raw material went to the sky, you know, and then you produce this month more, another thousand units. Do they hold the same price? The thousand units that you had stored keep the same price than the new stock? Somebody from accounting to answer that question? That's an interesting thing, thing to think about. I what do you think? Maybe the, the price uh, is set is is set. Is with set? The, yes, it's set with the the cost of manufacture or 
uh, you have to you have to include all the costs for manufacturing that products. And so the, 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 when you finish a, a load or a batch, uh, you have to set the the unit unit price. Unitary price. Unitary price for each product. Hmm. This is what I'm saying, guys. Who has the answer? Any accountant here among the group? Uh, Johnny. Hi. <laughs> Understand our point. Somebody who understands our point. Um, let's see how much is if, if, if I was paying $1,111. No, wait, 1,000 times one, that's another 1,000. That's 2,000. Uh, let's think about it like that. Uh, don't break our brains too much. So, Johnny, I made a thousand pieces, you know, a thousand pieces uh, last month, a thousand units, let's say a thousand items, whatever, um, last month, and my cost was a thousand dollars. Okay. Now, this month, December, I produced um, a thousand items of the same product. But the cost now two thousand dollars. What's the total on my inventory? I mean, if the the raw material, if the cost went up, what's my total inventory? The cost of the, the sale is three thousand. Does it still remain? So, so the previous production, the previous production cost, still remains on a thousand dollars. I I don't know, but I remember when I I was in, in the university, uh, we the in accountant, uh, you have. A method of management or inventory, for example, you you can you if you your inventory is uh, handling with the from uh, average cost, you have to to add all the all the the cost and the on the buy or how do you say it? Divided. Uh, divided in the in the total of the two batches. So that is the the unitary price. But so you're you... saying you're saying three thousand divided by two thousand. Yes, that is the, the average 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 yes, cost. Average cost in yes, that is that method, but if you your your mentor is management uh, with the uh, first in, first out is different. Or ah, wait, wait. Let's see. If first William, out is different. Give us the answer. So, uh, very stating that this is the right way to do it. I mean, it makes sense, right? Because how much is it, uh, Alexander? 3,000 divided by 2,000, like 1.50 or so. You're well, in yeah, 1.50. Is that right? Per yeah. item? What's my cost per item? Come on, guys. Okay, so that will be my, my cost. Okay. Nobody's answering, so let's leave it there. Okay. Effective inventory and management, considering the cost of the items. Do you think it's important, Yuri, to have the, to keep in mind the total cost of your inventory? What do you think, guys? Is it important to keep in mind the total cost of your inventory? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Suleyma, José Alberto. Irene, Sandra, Wendy, Katie, William, 
Jurin, Irwin, Rosie. Okay. Yes, guys, it is important to keep in mind the value of your main asset. Your main asset is your inventory. And if you go on bankruptcy, if you declare, if you declare your company on bankruptcy, mm -hmm. correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Google. If you, de uh, you declare yourself in bankruptcy. Let me check. Yeah, please. If you declare yourself in bankruptcy, you need to know what's your inventory value. You know, what's the value of your company? What's the value of your whole inventory? How much you owe to your employees, which is part of your passives inventory, I will say. Uh, after, after B, mm -hmm. it's a T. Thank you. Like that. Yes. Bankruptcy, difficult word, bankruptcy. If you declare yourself on bankruptcy, um, you need to consider how much money you're gonna pay, right? So where are you gonna take that money from? You need to sell your, your stock of inventory right away. Liquefy it, make it liquid immediately so you can pay your debts. Okay, I hope you're getting the topic. Uh, let's start with the main questions. Does your company handle items with expiration dates? Does your company handle products, items with expiration dates? What happens to products that go out of season or become irrelevant in the market? Okay, let me, let me talk to you about my company. My company is a retailer store chain, uh, which was started all the way back in 1969, I think. I can remember, 1946. We will see that later. But my company is huge. I mean, there are thousands of stores all around, all around the world. You know, they started in the United States, in Kansas, but they grew up so fast, you know, so tremendously um, fast that now is the biggest, is one of the biggest franchises, you know, in the world. Um, they handle a lot of expiration products, you know, like uh, perishable items, not just vegetables, fruits, but also packed, packed food, cheese, yogurt, uh, sodas, you name it, coffee, you know, they still manage um, to sell coffee, fresh coffee. And it's difficult, you know, because when products go out of season or become irrelevant for the market, um, they are just disposed. Every night, every night there is a truck that goes around town, you know, delivering delivering, the, for example, the donuts, donuts that, that were not sold the same day, we have to throw them away. And most part of the times we give them to charity. We give them to charity. We go on the streets, we look for homeless people, or we go to, um, We go to these places where people stay at night, you know. Uh, Homeless we, people. Not, yeah, but there's a name for the place where you stay at night. Uh, it's not a refugee, it's a, a shelter. A shelter, thank you, Alexander. Yeah, we donate it with, uh, to charity. We go to shelters um, in order to do the donations. You go to shelters. And, and in the end, you know, the point is to feed the poor, feed the poor with all the remainings of the day, you know, donuts, chicken, there's a lot of chicken, fried chicken, fried potatoes. Uh, what else? We also have uh, so many items, but what helps us a lot is scanning the barcodes, you know, and identifying products before they expire. One main reason of legal legal suits on our company um is that right mr gould um 
one main reason of legal sues on our company is expired. What meal. means sues? Sue is demanded. Yeah, a sue. Ah, but I'm, I'm I'm doubting about the plural. I, I think that's the right way. Right? Yeah, one main reason of a legal sue in our company is is expired milk, outdated, outdated milk. You know, uh, it, because it becomes green. You know, smelly. But some demand, people. Demand, uh, sorry, the man legal is if Google. Oh. Uh, so it's so it's like a traje uh, in with law with lay with lay law suits. Oh yeah, that's another way, yeah. Law lawsuits, okay. Yes, per join join. Together, one word. Together, together, yes, one word. Thank you. Okay, lawsuits. Okay, so one of the main reasons is the spired milk outdated milk and and that's very common you know there's actually some people who go to the store and complain about having bought having bought uh, a gallon a gallon of milk expired but sometimes you know they're just pretending i mean the problem is that we buy the milk from local local providers and sometimes the expiration date says tomorrow for example or it only it only says it only says best buy, right? It only says best buy, for example, December 14th, 2021. December 14th, 2021. And man, that's tomorrow, but today the milk was expired. Somehow, you know, it's difficult to have control over the milk. This expiry date is very uh, fishy, you know, it, you can fall into this without having knowledge. So that's, that's difficult to control. Okay. So what about you? What's, what does your company do? Do you think that I have a company? <laughs> no. Okay. I'm just making it up. So make it up. What's your company? What's your company about? What happens to all the fries that McDonald's doesn't sell every day? Okay. Burn it. What? Burn it. They burn it? Oh, I don't know. Like Pizza Hut. You know what happens? What? They do that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Fast food. I want you, I want you to think about a fast food restaurant. Okay. A fast food restaurant or just a regular restaurant. Mr. Donut. I don't know. What do they do with all the remaining food? in a daily basis do they still sell it the next day what do you know let's do a quick research in small groups to, to discuss these two questions and um let's talk about what happens to the products when they go out of season two if they are perishable items can you give me an example right now of an item that that goes out of season after christmas Actually, this is applied for clothes it must as well. Be. No, but uh, talking about perishables. Maybe the turkeys. Turkeys? Mm -hmm. They leave. They leave for another year. No, but <laughs> not alive. The, the, really? They want the super house. Uh -huh. Maybe what happened? This, this with bread with them thematics with bread for Christmas. Oh, no. cakes. 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 Christmas cakes. In Bambang, has uh -huh. a Christmas cakes. When the Christmas cakes <laughs> I don't know, teacher. They have a Christmas cake. They have a Christmas brazo gitano. No. There are special cakes. Uh, with figures uh, about Christmas tree and uh, <laughs> Rudolph, <laughs> but but they don't have uh, in existence in the in the store. You have to require that as special. You have to request. You make. Yeah, you, you have, have to, to order it. Order it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the topic. 
think about it. What happens to those products that go out of season after Christmas? I'm just gonna do the attendance really quick before we start this discussion. I want you to come up with your ideas to the front, select one of your classmates to talk about the topic to the whole class. And then we're gonna watch a video about my favorite convenience stores in the States. Um, Ada Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Thank you. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Thank you. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Recap. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Heidi Eugenio Salguero de Rivas. Present. Irene Susana Cuero Albanés. Present. Excelente. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present, teacher. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Present, teacher. Hey, good. I am okay, be careful. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Thank you. Present, teacher. Oh, good. Give me just a minute. Let me correct one's name here. Remember that you need to have your full name. Here. Especially when doing the attendance. Where's Johnny? Where's Johnny? Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. There he is. Yeah, wait, Johnny. I'm just removing your additional name there. Okay, there we go. So, Judy Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Luis hasn't come today. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Cumaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Thank you. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present teacher. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Tulaima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Okay. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Excellent. Okay. So let's get split it. Talk about this topic. Yes. Familiarize with this. I know it's a very interesting topic. Teacher, I will restart my computer. I cannot listen. Okay, Irving, we'll be waiting for you here in the same channel. Okay, let's have this conversation, guys. I know you can do this. Let's go. Okay. Very, very, I like your hair. Okay, thank you. It's time to change. Yes, it's beautiful. Thank you. Um, okay. Uh, what do you think about the topic? Uh, for example, in in my case, they they only buy products, and some products maybe could expirate, like paints or food or something like that. But they don't sell products; only buy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, in my case, my company. Uh, doesn't have perishable items because uh, uh, we made um, uh, underwear for men's and boys. Uh, but I think uh, we have uh, products out of season. Mm, um, Mm 
il coniugo. Uh, for example, in um, with the items, perishable items, uh, there are perishable items out of season two, because I, I don't know if you see uh, uh, the special package for Hershey's. Uh, Hershey's have a special package for Christmas. Um, and for example, in, in on January, uh, they have um, um, a lot of uh, offers for the Christmas products at a lower price. It's not the problem with the date of expire of the items. Um, the only problem is the package, the Christmas package. Yes. Is the next though Christmas is more uh, in, in Christmas is expensive, but, but mm -hmm. it's really expensive on Christmas. Expensive. Mm -hmm. I prefer buy <laughs> on January. <laughs> yes. <laughs> January, January, maybe it's correct. I don't know. Ja January. 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 February. January. February. January. February. And that's the most difficult. Yeah, they're the most difficult to remember. You got it. Okay. Teacher, <laughs> in the hospital, no, no, no offer the the medicine expire. <laughs> it's dangerous room for the people. Mm, really? Yes, teacher. <laughs> And the and the product it's inspired no is no is product uh, with the short and expiration they will be the use before expiration um, it's a healthy and the life and um, it's a take the people it's very difficult it's very valuable use the product expire is next is need or depend the emergency. Depends on the emergency. Okay. Yes, teachers. Okay. And somebody's chatting. Alguien está chateando y se escuchan los sonidos en la, en la reunión, chicos. Okay, keep going with the topic, guys. It's very interesting, but keep it up. Keep talking about the topic. Continue with the topic. <laughs> Does your company hire I think with the expiration name? What happened to products that go out of season or become irrelevant the marker? Well, in the company that I, that I work, there are no expiration uh, items. And the only thing is that we can deal with uh, hotels that the customer didn't, didn't show up. And so when the customer tell us I couldn't go to the hotel because I got an issue or I couldn't took my flight, there is a big problem because we can arrive on the money. And also we, we can talk to the hotel, but no guarantee. Commonly they will say, so sorry, but anyway. So 
contactándonos then when we talk with the manager they mentioned okay we will share the 50 percent and we will refund the 50 percent or if there are many days in the hotel they can mention the customers can come back but the night that he didn't took that he didn't take sorry we cannot refund but it's not an expedition i guess what about you guys my case the company that i am working in they just they uh, we work with the service they, they provide service that way we don't have a expiration date or products but these, these programs are out of season sometimes or not mm, yes yeah. Judy? excuse me if, for example, these programs on, on maybe programs on internet or or in, for the computer, uh, uh, sometimes it can be out or season, out of season. Uh, or no. it, it's relevant or in the market, for example, that the that not are useful for the for the people. Um, I guess uh, the, 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 that kind of service uh, is rarely you are going to find uh, its effect is affected for season because it is insurance services and the the company just have the. Uh, uh, products different several products to divert dif different coverage but in that way uh, um, using this time you are going to find more accident more, more accident but uh, the expiration days and, and season maybe can apply in that kind of service What about you? I uh, go, go ahead, I, Irene. Okay, in my case, the, the company that I'm working right now. Uh, For me, I have a, it, the, uh, this is a mistake in the company, the, the logistic mistake company. But in the mm -hmm. back, in the bank, don't have that problem. Yeah, we do. Debit cards expire. Ah, yes, it is true. Uh -huh. yes. Once they are they are expired, we cannot sell them. Yes, it's true. Mm -hmm. And we destroy them. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And there is a cost because yes. each debit card costs about two dollars. Oops. Mm -hmm. Yes. But I think I think that the most problem in the Salvador that uh, the food is a they say all the time have a problem. Let's go back. Teacher, teacher. Hey, hey. I, I had a problem with my computer. I need to restart the computer at nine o'clock. Oh, you're having updates. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but my computer is bad and I need to restart. And I think that I can listen. I don't know what happened. And I will. Did, I will wait, rest. wait. Did you fix it already or are you still having problems? I think that I had a problem with the hardware. Hardware. The hardware. The hardware. Yeah, the hardware. I think, I think because uh, my computer, because I have a, 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 it's, all, it's all okay, 
but I think that the component is speed. Yeah. Okay. Maybe, okay, maybe. Because when, when, when in my office it is similar, when I, have, I was working, in that moment, I don't know what happened and the, I can write and I can listen. That's weird. Okay, but don't worry, at least you're here right now and that's good. Okay. Okay, let's go back. So if I called you to make the pause, tell your friends to with us. Okay, okay. So we're ready to continue. Okay, so tell me, go ahead. What did you talk about? What are products that are becoming outdated or out of season after Christmas? I know one. I know a very special childhood product that is going out of season after Christmas. Do you remember the little Santa Claus chocolates? Mm hmm Oh. I remember, uh, how do you say Madrina in English? Well, the good mother, I guess. Good mother. <laughs> good mother is like good father, good mother. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. remember yeah. The, <laughs> the, the cartoon. The cartoon. Very good fathers. Really? Well, she... Cosmo and Wanda. <laughs> Jimmy Turner. Oh, yeah, Timmy Turner. Yeah, the, this uh, this old lady, you know, but my my brother's grandmother is she. Um, she used to give us this chocolates for Christmas. You know, they were delicious. But after Christmas, of course, it wouldn't make sense, right? So that's for me a product that will become outdated after Christmas. I'm gonna send you a picture so you can get my idea and get hungry. <laughs> Sneakers. Yeah, th those were yeah. delicious. <laughs> What what else? What else? I want to hear you. Um, I don't know, but um, uh, my father told me that uh, in the United States, uh, the chocolates that have a special package for Christmas on January have a very lower price. You can get uh, Hershey's chocolates for $1. Oh my God, shut up. Only oh for the package. God, be quiet, please, Lema, you're killing me. <laughs> I love chocolates. Um, me too. What about mint chocolates? Oh, yeah. Oh, I really I don't like this. Who, who doesn't? Heidi, you don't I like, don't like it. it? What? Mint chocolates? Okay. I love all kinds you of candies. You can send the chocolates to us. Yeah, if you don't want them. Hmm? What about the Christmas tree? The, the Christmas, Christmas tree. tree itself. No, nowadays, in those days, it's really expensive. But if you uh, went to Hong Kong for a Christmas tree during the December the 20th, believe me, it's cheaper. <laughs> Will be cheaper. That's true. Definitely. Well, we use... Um, fake trees right but in the states they actually use real trees many families have this um tradition this tradition of going and cutting a tree top you know they always cut the tree top and put it inside the house i don't know if that's still going that or if they have banned if they if they have prohibited this tradition in many states but much people still follow the rule, you know, going and cutting the tree. What else? What else? What else? 
Hey, what about Torrejas in Semana Santa here in El Salvador? Why don't we eat Torrejas the whole year? I don't get that. Me, teacher. <laughs> you do? I, yes. Right. All the time, yes. It's not important. It's for me, it's not it doesn't important. matter. It's not matter, yes, teacher. The season, the Torrejas. <laughs> season doesn't matter for me. The season doesn't matter for me. Yeah, I, I like to cook them with milk and it's like tres leches, the torreja in tres leches, you know. That's crazy. And um, pasas. Oh my God. Crazy. Crazy. Raisins. 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 Thank you. That's delicious. Okay, come on. Yeah. What else did you find? What else did you find? This is gonna be something that definitely goes out of date. Okay, uh, teacher. Okay, we can uh, think about two two kinds of products. The first product is the food, and the other product uh, maybe the like a, like a, for example jeans, etc. For example, for a product of the season, many companies have the outlet. In El Salvador, you can find it in Simán, is tasting one outlet in Soya Pango. Yes, in that outlet. But where the food is so different because the brand, uh, you can change, for example, if you went to the supermarket and you find that one product will be spilled, spilled in the few days, the brand is go down in your mind. For example, Bimbo, with their experienced product, they sell in the popular stores, in their arms, arm stores, the name is Expendius, for example, yes? And mm -hmm. the other company, for example, Comercial, uh, say Inverton, the distribution, they recollect the product and try to sell in the popular cities. With the other company, they have that, that promotion with the low price, yes? But with the clothing is so different because we are not, we don't have a season like United States. We don't have a season like United States. But Simon in El Salvador, he is stating with one outlet in uh, Soyapango, multi plaza. You know, plaza Mundo, sorry, plaza Mundo. Metro Sur as well. Ah, Metro Sur, okay. Metro Sur, okay. This is an outlet. In the United States, it's so frequently that is that kind of sell the product. But in El Salvador, I only only saw the Simán with the outlet. But Bimbo, they have the the name, the store is Expendios. You can find in the downtown, you can yeah, find in, I saw yeah. one. I saw one and they sell uh they they are like wholesale wholesale stores. Remember, wholesale yes. stores from Imbo, where they sell uh, what is about to expire at a very inexpensive price. It's true. Yes, it says uh, uh, for when you have a, a for example super select, mm -hmm. but the the product will be expired in uh, one week. For example, Bimbo take the product. They give the new product uh -huh. and the product will be spread in a few days. We'll go at your own stores. The name for Bimbo is Spendius. For Bimbo, the name is from Mexico. Spendius is, is the name Mexican, Mexican store in Mexico. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a strategy for to do it. But other company, for example, Comercial, Unilever, Unilever, no. No, yes, Unilever do it. Nestle, they try to they try to to sell the product. For example, you can so many persons with the band with mini band and call. Hey, we have another product with a low price. 
Yes. But in the last time, many years ago, the strategy, the market marketing strategy was to sell with a low price in the retail. Uh -huh. But now it's a good mistake in, 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 in the market. It's a good mistake because the brand, the brand will be will be go down in your mind. It's mm -hmm. incredible. Yeah. Be because in your mind, oh, mm -hmm. this approach will be expiring a few few days, and you think, ah, oh, it's a bad product, okay? We'll see that. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, some of you are wondering about unit two. 2.1, I think is right, Alexander. Can you double check, please? And let me know. Uh, that's homework two. You need yeah. two. There was a punctuation problem. I mean, a grading problem. Um, still scoring 18 instead of 20. Can you read? Did you retake the, the test? Right. No. And still, still having the problem. Or oh, you're doing it right now. Let me know if you still have the same problem. That's homework 2.1, I think. Something like that. Okay. So, guys, to, to move on, um, I would like you to watch a little documentary. It's just one hour and 30 minutes. So, we're going to stay here for one hour and 30 minutes watching this documentary. Okay. I just wanted to see your faces. Like one hour and thirty minutes. Good evening. <laughs> okay, don't worry. It's just a few minutes. This is a very nice story of how a chain, a grocery store chain, can become a monster. You know how they manage their inventory. What do they do with perishable items? It's very interesting. So we're gonna stay here if you want. So we can all watch the video together. I'm not going to project it again, you know. In fact, let me turn off sharing. So nobody feels tempted to sharing the video. And there we go. So it's called The Rise of 7-Eleven. It's an amazing um, story. It's just 12 minutes. Go jump in if you feel bored at some given should. point. Try to get some vocabulary out of the topic. Yep, Alex. Yeah, the is the two point one. Two point one. Not two point two. Two point two. Two point two. Okay, um, I'll but it's the same. Problem. I'll make sure I fix it yeah. right now. Don't no. worry. I'll go ahead and report it right now. So mm -hmm. let's go and watch that video. We're gonna stay here just watching the video and taking notes of new vocabulary, okay? Okay. Good, let's go.
Okay, I'm done. I don't know. You I'm just waiting for you. Let me know. Okay, what did you like about the video? What are your thoughts about the video? Store convenience. Store convenience? Yeah. Okay. What is a, a convenience store? It's like a, a it's like a mini, mini, mini super. <laughs> yeah. You think? On, on the road. On the road. Mm -hmm. Could be. Okay. Everybody else, what do you think? What is a convenience store? It's, uh, it's a play when you, no, it's a play that you, you, uh, you can find uh, items that you should usually uh, get every, every day or on the road, like, Alex said, and um, in El Salvador, usually that convenience store is is a uh, uh, join it or got station. Yes, with gas station or has a, a partnership with a gas station. The partnership with the gas station. If I understood well, this kind of the store are made for people who wants to avoid being in a in a crowd place or avoid large queue and yeah and they only get what they want and they go go and, on yes and sometimes the stores uh, are opening 20 four hours, seven days a week. Actually, that's the way they started. That's why the name seven to 11. They used to open from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. back in the 40s when they started, but then they, they changed the name, you know. I mean, they never changed the name, but the, the, the hours of operation went to 24 seven, 24 hours, uh, you know, seven days a week non-stop they're they're open on christmas eve and, and and new year's eve you know they're always open so it's crazy okay so what else did you get uh-huh so yes they're ev evolutioning right they're evolving they're changing the way they serve customers. They have franchise in Japan. Japan. They have uh, franchises in Japan. Okay. Yes. Come on, guys, give me your thoughts uh, about it. Did I you? Mean, 
2017, the, they start to use to to use an application for delivery. That is true. Mm -hmm. The 7-Eleven app, and they thought they thought that it wasn't going anywhere, right? But then with the pandemic, people started using the app, placing their orders through the app. And in 2018, I was working there at 7-Eleven at the call center. And um, yeah, it was crazy. You used to place an order and you used not to get what you ordered, you know, at home. But what was wrong, the, the app or maybe the, the no. person that... Yeah, huh. who prepared the order. Ah, okay prepare the order for example you used to order a latte and you used to get a cappuccino for example Those Teacher, how would you say how would you say artículo de primera necesidad uh first need or i remember there's a word for that first need items first need Abarrotes. items Abarrotes. Abarrotes. that's the word yes in spanish that's the word um groceries. groceries if i if i write that that words google translate necessities on the necessities just yes, necessities needs yes right. needs that's right yeah but you have um abarrotes just the way haiti said that's the word and that's like the main things that you need on the uh, canasta basica, let's say. Basically so they, 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 that's the whole idea. You know, they started when there were no fridges, there was no way to fridge your food. So they used to sell ice, for example, they had ice machines and they used to work from seven at the beginning to four to 5 p.m. Because, because, because of the sunlight, right? And after the sun was gone, everything was dark, you know. So this guy, they they used to be named the totem stores. You know what is a totem? It's a, yeah. a figure of idol. Uh -huh, yes. Like an idol made of wood. Yeah, with faces of eagles, bears, you know, from the Indios, you know, natives, the natives from Texas and all that area. So the West. That's the way they started the totem stores and then they keep growing, you know, they didn't talk about that on the video, but what called your attention of the video? Any product that you said, oh my God, look at that. Any food? Draft beer. <laughs> Draft beer, something better. They didn't mention Slurpees, did they? I'm dying to go to the United States and try a Slurpee. Always wanted to try hey, a Slurpee. I, I have learned a, a new word or phrase. Okay. It's in, in a bit. In a bit. In a bit. Yeah. In a bit. In a, in a bit. I'll tell you in a bit. In a, in a bit. Yeah, like this. Yeah, I'll tell you in a bit. Okay. I'll tell you in a bit what with the bid, isn't it bid? I think that there was a problem with the translation. Did you try it? Yeah, it's a, a offer or, yeah. Oh, in a bid. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, bid is like bidding for a car or, yeah. A licitación. Okay. And yeah, if I tell you, I'll tell you in a bit. That's another way of saying, one. wait a minute. I'll tell you in a bit. Flock, a flock of seagulls, a flock of seagulls, rebaño. They use like um, consumer wear flocking in their retail. Yeah, yeah like going to die, you know. Uh, a lot of people. Yeah. You got it. Okay. So really quick, guys, we're just missing one little topic here. I'm just going to jump the conversation to talk about today's topic, which was a grammar. 
thingy. Um, I want you to study this for tomorrow so we can use it during the class. Um, next grammar topic is how to use adverbs to qualify verbs. Well, let me see five minutes, but I found it very important. Okay. Look at the examples in the books. You have how to qualify, how to use adverbs to qualify verbs. So, and you do that at the end, look, use the adverbs to communicate where, when, why, how, how often, or how much, or to what degree something happens. They qualify the actions and the claims we make. For example, you need to organize your inventory efficiently, okay? And then you need to use a suffix, um, so, fix so after or at the end you need to add ly to an adjective so adjective plus ly you go with efficiently accurate becomes accurately accurately consistent becomes consistently consistently that's the way you form many adverbs of course not all of them okay so look at the examples and they are used at the end of a phrase at the end of the of the sentence okay record information accurately check for possible improvement consistently revise processes slowly communicate with your distributor distributor regularly regularly, regularly, the faster you say it, the better, regularly. Change your inventory practices incrementally. I don't like this word, I never used it before. Change your inventory practices incrementally, gradually. I will say gradually, no, incrementally. That sounds weird, gradually, gradually. Okay, what other adjectives can you think of that you can make um adverbs just by adding the suffix mente in case you haven't landed the idea okay eficiente mente precisa mente consistente mente how do you say felizmente then happily Happily. Happily. Okay. How do you say rapidamente? Quickly. Rapidly. Fastly, quickly, okay. Lately. Uh, rapidly. What? Lately? Rapidly. Ultimamente, okay. Rapidly. Rapidamente, okay. Okay. What else? Give me more. Malamente. Happily. Badly. 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 Okay. Happily. Unconsciously. <laughs> ah, that's a tough one. Unconsciously. Unconscious. Unconsciously. Unconsciously. Unconscious. Unconsciously. Again. Unconsciously. Immediately. 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 Oh, okay. Immediately. I use, I use repeat, repeatedly. Repeatedly. Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Here it does. Honest? Honestly. 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 Uh huh. Fear money. Comfort. Comfort. Comfortly. Comfortly. Okay. New. 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 Newly. Okay. Hmm. Serious? Seriously. Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. Hardly. 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 And so on. It's very simple, okay? And just keep in mind where you locate the adjective when you make it up an adverb, okay? Okay. That's the way you should be using this. Tomorrow we will continue with the other topics, with the conversations among them. 
that should be very easy. Okay, and we will move on with the rest of the topics tomorrow. Okay, do you have any questions on what we talked about on the video? This is very important. Um, perishables, wow, perishables. You know, something that calls my attention about 7-Eleven is what they do with the food. You know, they help, they help, they help thousands of homeless people. Despite they make, can you imagine making 88 billion, not million, billion dollars a year? Your company. It's crazy. It's really amazing. And it was, the, the company was splitted. You know, if you go to Kansas City, if you go to Kansas City, that's a niche of market where only there's just one kind of 7-Eleven in, in Kansas City. The, uh, the rest of the world is other kind of 7-Eleven, but Kansas City is like, let's say Irwin and I, we're brothers and we fought after a study where our company, we fought and Irwin said, you know what? I'm keeping my part of my company and you are not going to make business in Kansas City. This is going to be my territory. Get out of here. I'm staying in Kansas City. You don't come here. <laughs> that was tough. And many years later, the brother's still there in Kansas City. Nobody goes there, you know. But the rest of the world was for the other part of the family. That was crazy. I mean, and that happens a lot with families. They get splitted when they start a business, right? Anyway, anyways, it's topic for another day. Let's finish the class. Lock in, lock in. Okay, let's move on. Uh, tonight, I'm staying with Carolina Herrera. If she would like to stay, I don't know. Caroline, would you like to stay 10 minutes? Do you? Uh, can you, can be tomorrow, please? It's okay. Somebody wants to stay. Andres. Come on. Andres Giovanni, were you with me recently? No, right? Andres? Mm, not sure. Would you like to talk for 10 minutes? Okay. Sure. Okay, let's do it. So, it's yep. Uh, sorry, I speak Spanish. Um, en la plataforma, eh, la actividad de la unidad 2 siempre marca 18, pero al final siempre da el 100%. O sea, que no va a cambiar, sí, sí va a quedar. Ya lo reporté, eso era lo que me estaba diciendo Alexander al principio de la, de la clase. Sí, sí. So, probablemente lo van a arreglar, pero sí sigue dando el 100. So, yeah, it will be fixed. Ok. Thank you. Okay. Good night, guys. A la Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present, teacher. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Present, good night. Good night. Good night. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present, good night. Good night. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present, good night. Good night. Heidi Eugenia Salguero de Rivas. Present, good night. Good night. Irene Susana Cuadra Albanés. Present, good night. Good night. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present, good night, everybody. Good night, Jose Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present teacher. Good night, Jose Alberto Salas Benítez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night, Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Good night. Good night, Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Good night. Good night, Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present, good night. Good night, William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present, good night. Good night, Suleyma Yvonne Moreno de Hernández. Present, good night. Good night, Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present, good night. Good night, Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present, teacher, good night. Good night. Okidoki. So, Andres, thank you for staying with me. How are you tonight? Uh, fine, teacher. 
great, great, great. We're almost done with the year. Are you back to work? Yes, I, I have to work uh, this and the next week. Only mm -hmm. until 23rd. 23rd, Thursday. Thursday. Oh. Yes. Thursday. And then? And then I, I come back on January 3rd. <gasps> Look at you, oh my God. That's awesome. I and am. What me. about you? you I'm going to gonna work. be working. <laughs> yes, I'm done Only. with you. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'm going to be done with you on Friday and then um, still working on the call center until, yeah, every day, even, mm -hmm. the, even the 25th. On Saturday, the 25th, I have to be working. So how many hours do you do you work in a day? Just 7.5 right now at the call center. Mm -hmm. The call center is just one schedule from 7.5 7 hours. But, you know, I got used to it already. And just teach in this, in this English corporative or? Uh, when, well, this month, this last two months, I've been teaching for six hours, uh, let's say mm, 10 hours on the weekends and 20 hours on the weekdays, you know. Mm -hmm. That's for each module, I have to teach 10 hours weekly. So I was making 30 hours on English Corporativo. So every day from Monday to Friday was four hours teaching, 7.5 at the call center. So you, you work a lot. You know, I have to. I, I don't know, if I'm not working, I get sick. I don't know, I just got used to be working, being active all the time. If I'm not active, I become lazy and feel sick. And, uh, I don't like that. Okay. What about you? What do you do on your spare time, on your free time? I'm just in my house. I don't I don't do anything special. Maybe on weekends I can go outside. Hmm. Mm -hmm. But in weekdays I, I'm in my house. Mm -hmm. Hey, is there good internet service? I have 20, 20 megas. 20 megas? Yes. Is that um, the most you can get? I think that you can get 30. Really? Uh -huh. Still with Digo or Claro? No, it's here only Claro and a local company. They have more speed, but I don't have that. Really? That's really so you have Claro. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they do that, right? That's really. Uh, yeah, I mean, my parents, my yeah. father in law and my mother in law, they, my in laws, they live in Lourdes and they they have this pirate cable signal, you know, and they have a lot of channels. I'm like, oh, they pay like $10 a month or something like that. Uh, I think it's more expensive, but they have a good service. Yeah. That's... They, they start uh, here this time, and then he almost is a pandemic. They changed. Oh, they they expanded. Yeah, they they expanded, expanded to other places, and they have partnerships, and they offer a better service nowadays. Is that a Honduras, you know, thing? Honduras business? No, it's a uh, from Santa Ana. Do people from Honduras go to your location to do business? Yes. Uh, uh, I know Senora that they sell vegetables. Really? Yes. Uh, so they come they from have. the from the border every day. Yes, uh -huh. they have a lot of years coming since I was a kid. What really? Yes, yes but uh, this year and the last year for the pandemic, they can come because, because Honduras doesn't have uh, vaccines until just right yes uh, 
Remember when Najib gave vaccines to? Yeah, he but closed the, the they, border too. And nowadays they have, uh, they finished the vaccine. Uh, oh. So when, when they cross the border, they have to show their little cartoon, right? Showing that they have the vaccines. Uh, today and this day, uh, there are not, there's not restrictions. Government quit all that. Oh, really? Yes. They removed it. What is what is an item that, that is brought by Europeans? You know, I mean, by... <laughs> Europeans and I, Honduras, my Honduras citizens that, that go to your location like clothes or do they yeah. bring anything special from Honduras? Coffee? Mm. No, not, not something special, but uh, for example, tortillas, or, uh, they have a uh, special tortillas different than here in Salvador. Uh, mm -hmm. I like to, to buy to my senora. Really? Is it corn tortillas or is it like bread tortillas? Like flavor, flavor. Flavor is harina. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Flour, uh, flour. Flour. Uh, flour. Uh, flour. Man, those are delicious. Just like the bimbo tortillas, right? Uh huh, but uh, biggest tortilla. That's like Mexican. Yes. Uh, they, <laughs> you pay only $1. For seven tortillas. What? Uh -huh. That's expensive. <laughs> but, uh, it's yeah, a big but... tortilla. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So you can make burritos. Uh-huh. Like, <laughs> and baleadas. I don't oh, know. Like yeah, of course. Yeah, I know. Uh -huh. I know. Hey, but uh -huh. I wonder, they say that Honduras has very good cheese. Mm, we have a, a good cheese in, in this town. Really? Yes. Uh -huh. How long mm -hmm. is it? How far away is it, Citala, from from San Salvador? Uh, Ninety-four kilometers. kilometers. Uh -huh. and in hours, if I'm going driving, if you can drive, maybe for the traffic, maybe two hours and a half. Two and a half hours. Uh -huh. Two and a half hour. uh -huh. Be a good place to visit. Yes. Do you like cheese? Yeah, yeah, we love cheese with the family. But I'm I'm gonna look for a bottle, special bottle of um, uh, tamarindo. <laughs> I keep going with the tamarindo thing, chicha. Uh, yeah, do you like chicha? It's not uh. chicha. It's, it's just like how do you call this? It's like a ron or or, or I don't know, but it's really strong, made mm. of made of tamarindo. Have you heard of it? No, no. nobody's doing that there. No, here not. Uh, no. Maybe in Aguilara you can find Eramon. It's you know, like an a alcohol huh? drink. Uh -huh. It's a alcoholic beverage, but it's really uh -huh. strong, you know, made of tamarindo. Uh -huh. That's really good for your throat. Don't get uh -huh. don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. Don't me malinterpret this. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I never okay. heard, about, heard about that. Yeah, it's no. really good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Nice talking to you. It's been my pleasure. Thank you, Andres. Hope to see okay. you again. Take care. Okay, teacher. Good night. Good night.